Sometimes when you install an application in Windows, you might be asked to install an additional application called Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. One day, when looking through your installed applications, you notice that this program is installed many times over. And each installation has a different size and a different installation date. So what is the Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable? Why are there so many copies installed? And can you uninstall any of them? There's a lot to go through here, so we'll start with the basics. Before we get to the C++ part of the explanation, it's worth talking about what redistributable means. Software is distributed as either a lightweight online installer or as a redistributable. Online installers are very small in size, and that's because they don't actually contain the application data. When you run them, the data is downloaded from the internet. The advantage of this approach is that only the data your particular computer actually needs will be downloaded. A redistributable file, on the other hand, has all the data that could possibly be needed during the installation. It has the distinct advantage of not needing an internet connection to work. Redistributables are often bundled into other software that rely on them, and so it is with Visual C++. Visual C++ is a code compiler for the C programming language family that includes C, C++, and C++ slash CLI code. Many applications written in C, especially those created using the Microsoft Visual Studio developer environment, rely on a standard set of software libraries, without which the software can't run. Since most people who'll be using the application aren't going to have the entire Visual Studio developer suite installed on their computer, the redistributable contains those libraries that a specific application needs to work. If you pay close attention, you'll notice that the different C++ redistributable installations don't have exactly the same name. They have different version numbers and different years in their titles. That's because Microsoft Visual Studio is itself being updated over time. This also affects the standard software libraries in each version. An application written using a specific version of Visual Studio will need the library redistributable of that version of the developer tools. The redistributables are also not cumulative, so newer ones don't contain all the libraries of the versions that have come before. That's because some older libraries will be dropped over time or will change and no longer be compatible with older versions. If they were cumulative, the size of the redistributable would balloon over the years and become hard to maintain. Whenever you install a new application which requires a new distributable, it will check if that library is already installed. If not, it gets added to the list. So every one of the entries you see listed were at one time needed by an application you installed on your computer. The redistributable libraries are shared. That means multiple applications make use of the same installation of standard libraries. Although a program will install missing libraries alongside itself, it won't uninstall those libraries when you uninstall it. And that's because another program may have been installed in the meantime that needs the same library files. We don't recommend that you delete any Visual C++ redistributables because doing so could make multiple applications on your computer stop working. Given how little space they take up and how broadly they are used, it doesn't seem worth the hassle to mess with your current ecosystem of standard libraries. For more detailed information, Check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.